Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Dodge and Burn to improve your landscape photos. So we can see this nice, vibrant, you know, nice looking photo in front of us. And we're going to get this from this not so glamorous, dull looking photo. So let's get in here and get started. Okay. Let's get the photo that we're going to edit and let's put it to the develop module. Now to save time, I've already got this cropped in to match the other and also cropped it in at to 16.9 ratio for tutorial purposes to make it look very nice. Okay. Now the first thing, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you know all I like to do is turn on my lens corrections. So let's turn on remove chromatic aberration and also enable profile corrections. That way it removes any kind of distortion and any kind of chroma that we might find, which there shouldn't be in this photo as it's kind of flat looking. But just in case. Okay, now I'm gonna leave my white balance as shot because the white balance looks like it's pretty much on par with what I'm looking for in this photo. Now I'm gonna go down here and I am going to adjust my highlights all the way down to see if I can't pull back some of the sky some. Still kind of blown out to me a little bit. I am going to have her pull the shadows up 100 also. They actually spread the data out in this photo so you can see all the detail. Okay. Now I am wanting to drop this about a half a exposure here. About a plus, about a minus 50. Maybe a bit much. Yeah, about a minus 0.45. Looks about dead on for me. It's just almost a half a stop. So that way you can still get detail and stuff under these trees but it's still quite dark okay now I want to adjust my whites and blacks to really make the uh, image more contrasty and not as flat looking okay now let me see if I can't pull up the whites here somewhere around a plus 50 okay the whites look still pretty good look at the uh, clouds at the top good bright white clouds okay now we gotta bring back some darkness into this to make the image look really nice About a negative 59 looks almost dead on my negative 59 negative 60 it's about what we're looking for here okay now I'm going to bring up some clarity that's a little punch this photo about a plus 50 looks pretty good now we're going to bring up the vibrance I think I had it about a plus 40 before that adds a lot of real nice blues and greens to the uh, image which you really want in a nice you know green landscape like this now I'm not going to touch saturation because it would probably be way too much more than we need at the moment. Okay. Now before we go any further, I am going to drop a graduated filter down here. And we just reset all this here. Yeah, let's pull her down here. Reset that exposure because I don't want to work exposure here. Normally, people want to drop the exposures on their uh, graduated filters to bring back the sky. I'm not doing this this time. What I'm going to actually going to do is I'm going to pump the contrast a little bit here because I want to bring back the clouds. I'm going to check that contrast all the way up to 100 here and the shadows here. I want to bring up just a little bit. Actually, bring it about 50. That way, it doesn't affect the trees below it. And I am going to bring the clarity also up to 100. As you can see, we're starting to bring back a lot of these clouds up here without really affecting the trees. And that's what we really want here. Okay. And click done on that one. Now, I'm going to do a little dodge and burning here. I'm going to start out and do a little burning here. Let's grab my brush. Let's go here to burn, which is also darkened. Now I want mine a little bit stronger than that. But a minus 1.5 is what I'm looking for. 1.51 is close enough. Now for this particular wood, I want to have my feather at 100, flow about 50. Although if you're new to this, I recommend you probably drop the flow to about 30 or so, and that way you get much better used to it. I'm been using this for a while. I'm going to keep my flow on about 50. Auto mass definitely have that turned off for this type of photo. And density, I like it about on 75 here. 
Now what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna make all this lower areas below the trees a little bit darker. And the reason that is, is because the sun's above the trees, and then below the trees should look darker to the human eye. So I'm gonna easily just brush in a little darkness here. And a little bit darkness here too. Around the bottom of the, tr the tree lines here. A little darkness under here, a little darkness in this field. I want a little darker than normal because it's a dark field. And the bottom here. Let's see here, we're starting to get this look pretty good there. Alright, that looks pretty good on the dodge end. Excuse me, the burn in. So, I'm going to click done on that one. But I'm going to grab up another brush here. Now, this one we're going to do a little dodging, which is lighting. We're going to lighten some things up here. Okay. Now, what's going to get here? I wanna, what I want to do is get, make the effect that the sky, you know, the sun is shining through the clouds, brightening up certain areas of the, the field and stuff here. That way everything's just not as flat looking. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one up to about a 1.5, ah, 1.51. Seems to be my lucky number today. And the same, we have a feather 100, flow of 50, and density of 75. Now I am going to start by bringing some streaks through here. And this area through here, the tops of the fields, cause it should be brighter on those areas. And through here like this. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna also hit these clouds up in a few spots. The white areas of the clouds I want to really make brighter. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Okay, that's looking you know, pretty good to me. Let's click done on that one. I made just a just a contrast, just a little bit here. Yeah, about a plus twenty on the contrast overall. About brings it out just about right and we're almost done here I still want some more blue in those clouds so I mean to get blue look a little darker you have to drop the luminance on it but we're gonna turn around to the saturation part and add some blue on about plus 30 and minus 30 on both and that really brings out those clouds really really good there okay down here in the detail portion we're gonna do about a plus 80 I think it was around yeah about a 75 80 that looks pretty good right there that way we get a detail on everything but the clouds and noise reduction I'll bring up to probably about 14 or so now the only thing that's left is just a little bit of post crop netting I ain't gonna drop this down, probably about a negative 13. And that's pretty close to me, I think it was about a negative 14 before. Negative 13 looks really close to me. And that is it, everyone. That is how I edited it. That's how I used uh, Dodge and Burn to really bring out the, the details in this photo, to, you know, make it more pleasing, more interesting to the eyes instead of such a, such a flat image. So I hope everybody everybody likes this tutorial. And if you do, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, y'all please take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free, it's for you, and let you know when I release more wonderful creative videos like you see here. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.